Hey guys, and welcome back to Offset Studio. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your Pinterest business account, which you should have for this tutorial, not a personal, it should be a business account. Um, how to connect your Pinterest business account to your WordPress site so that you can start getting pins that look like this, the Pinterest pin on your images so that people can save them and that way you'll get more traffic to your website because people are able to save them and then more people will see it. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do before we dive in is you're going to want to go ahead and go back to the WordPress site. And once you're in your WordPress site, you need to install a plugin if you do not already have it that is called, let me see, we'll go to add new in case you don't already have it. And then you're going to type in, let me see, let's go to back to, cause I forgot what the, okay. It's called tracking code manager. So if you do not already have it, go to add new, type in, tracking code manager and you're going to press the search and this is what it looks like so you're going to press the install button mine say active because i already have it press the install button and then i think the next uh, thing it will tell you is to activate so once you have that we're good to go now let's go um, back to pinterest okay and once you're back in pinterest you're going to go to ads, conversions, and then it's going to highlight this tag manager bar, which is what we want to be on. And we're going to uh, click on install the Pinterest tag manually. We're going to do it ourselves, guys. Okay. We're going to skip this part and we're going to use the manual setup. We don't need them checking if our website is available. Okay, so we need the base code, which is what it has provided us. So go ahead and copy the code, code copied. Then let's go back to WordPress. Once we're back in WordPress, we're going to go to our um, installed plugins. Look for that tracking code manager right here. So go to settings and you're going to click on the tab that it comes up on is manager. Make sure you're in manager and then go to add new tracking code. And then Right here, name, you can name it anything you want to remember what this code is for. So you can type in something like Pinterest tag or something related to Pinterest. So you know, that's what this is right here. So go ahead on and paste that code that we got from Pinterest. Position inside the code, leave that alone. It should say before in the head. And then show only on device, leave that alone. So we're not changing anything on here. The only thing we did was add a name and paste. And then you're going to go ahead and press save. Okay. Once you have done that, we're going to go um, back to Pinterest. And we've already installed this code. So we're going to press continue. We're gonna leave all this stuff alone, continue, leave this alone, and we're going to press uh, done, okay? So go ahead on and refresh your page. And then once you have done that, um, on our WordPress site, go ahead and go into your Um, go to your uh, homepage or wh wherever and you see these images now you should have 
the pin, the Pinterest pin, so that people, when they come to your website, and even you, you can go ahead or they can go ahead and start saving it to their own Pinterest account so other people can see it, save it, share it, do whatever they have to do to get um, to, for you to get more traffic to your website. So I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys later. Bye.